Today I'm going to demonstrate the integration of ServiceMax with SAP using Informatica Cloud. The first part of the demonstration will bring accounts, contacts, locations, products, and pricing data from SAP over to ServiceMax. Let's start by viewing the data in the ServiceMax system. I'll select the Accounts tab and open a view called SAP Accounts, which searches for accounts which were sent from SAP. As you can see, there are no records before this integration has run. We will see the same results if I select the tabs for contacts, locations, and products. Now let's go to the Informatica Cloud and run the integration. I'll select the Design tab and go to the Task Flows sub-tab to see the integration tasks we have created. I can run the integration by selecting the Play button to the left. This will bring me automatically to the Monitor tab, which will show the process running in real time. Selecting the Refresh button shows the status details. This integration has four different processes to bring over the accounts, contacts, shipping locations, and storage locations. We can see the job results updating dynamically as data is sent across from SAP to ServiceMax. When the integration is finished, it will bring us automatically to the Monitor tab. OK, it's done. Let's go back to the task flows and run another integration. This integration process will bring across products and pricing records. OK, it's done. Let's go back now to the ServiceMax system to view the data that was sent across. We'll start on the Products tab. I'll refresh the screen, which will search for SAP records. Here we see that 13 products were imported. Let's open the Ultrasound Logic product. We can see the standard price was sent across and is linked to the product here. And we have an SAP external ID, which relates to the material master in the SAP system. Let's go over to the SAP system to view the material that relates to this product. We can find the material in SAP by entering the external ID in the display material screen. Selecting the Accounting view will bring up a view that shows the standard price in SAP, which matches the pricing we brought over to ServiceMax. Going back to ServiceMax, we can select the Accounts tab and see that we brought over 10 accounts. Let's view the Thomas Bush account. Here we see the SAP external ID for this account and the billing and shipping address information brought over from SAP. We also see that this account has been linked to a contact record and a ServiceMax inventory location record. Let's go back to the account screen. In summary, We've brought over SAP data for accounts, contacts, locations, products, and prices, and linked the appropriate records. The next integration I will show is an event-based integration, where a sales order is created in SAP when a ServiceMax work order is closed. I'll start by creating a work order by clicking the Create Work Order button from within the Thomas Bush account. In the Create Work Order form, we specify the purpose of the visit is for a repair, and the billing type will be a purchase order. I'll enter some descriptive text in the subject, and then save and close the work order. Then I'll jump ahead in the work order process to the point 
where a field service technician is finished with the job and performs a work order debrief. In this step, the technician will add the parts that were used in the job which need to be invoiced. We can search for the parts we brought over from SAP and add them to the work order. We will add two parts and update their quantities. Then we will save and close the work order. Here we see the parts we just added. The final step is to edit the work order and change the status to closed. This is the trigger for the integration. This will send a real-time outbound message from ServiceMax to the Informatica cloud. We can go to the Informatica cloud to monitor this integration process. And one row has processed. Let's see what this integration task is designed to do. I'll select the Design tab and view the data mappings, and select Edit Mapping on this process. This brings up the Visual Process Flow Editor. The first step of the process receives the outbound message sent from ServiceMax. Informatica then calls back to ServiceMax to get the related account information in this step. Another call to ServiceMax is made here to get the work order details which contain the parts information. Then there are three transformations to put this data into SAP format, which is then fed into the SAP API here, which creates the sales order. Finally, Informatica calls back to ServiceMax to store the sales order ID on the ServiceMax work order. Let's look at how an outbound message is configured in Salesforce. Select Setup and search for outbound messages on the left. We have set up one outbound message. Opening it up shows that outbound messages are simple to create and configure, where you can specify the object that triggers the event, the endpoint URL of the receiving Informatica system, and you can download a WSDL that Informatica must import to receive the message. You can also configure the workflow rules for when the event is triggered. In this case, the trigger occurs when the work order is closed. So let's see the results of this integration. Let's go back to the work order that we closed in ServiceMax. I'll refresh the screen and we can see that the integration recorded the ID of the newly created SAP sales order. We will copy this ID and search for the sales order in the SAP system. Here we see the sales order that was created in SAP with all of the account and parts information sent over from the ServiceMax work order. This concludes the demonstration and shows how robust integrations can be easily created between ServiceMax and SAP with Informatica Cloud.